everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been a hot minute since I have recorded a video. I know I've done a this is me being back five million times. It has been a journey. Let me just tell you that 2019 has been the year of growth for me. It has been the year of trials, struggles, you name it. I've been dealing with it this year. Um, it's been crazy but I feel like I am now finally in a good place and I feel like I can really get back into my YouTube groove get content for you guys I have a project comeback that I want to talk about I have a whole list of things here that I want to talk about I want to give you guys a life update talk about project comeback my plan how I felt about whole 30 because I did that for a minute um, I even gave Weight Watchers a try talk to you guys about that I also want to talk about you know the fuck it dykes obviously that's been something I have been talking about at least on my Instagram maybe not so much here I can't remember I think the last update that I gave you guys it was just kind of on my hormones and what's going on of course I'll update you guys on that as well with my holistic doctor first thing though before we go ahead and get into this grab yourself a cup of coffee grab yourself some water it's gonna be a long one I have myself something right here that I'll be sipping on throughout the video this is actually um it looks luxurious it's got make sure I didn't spill it it's got caramel on top I don't know if you guys can really see it probably there you can it's got whipped cream and caramel on top and this is a pumpkin spice latte let me clarify there is no coffee in this this is used with first forums pumpkin spice latte protein I just um, heat up the almond milk whisk in my protein powder and I make this and it is amazing um, I'm just gonna pull up my blinds a little bit so you guys can have more light there we go so this is amazing I love it so good so good so um yeah I just want to give you guys an update you know on everything that is going on so first things first let me just kind of give you guys an overall life update of what's been going on since I talked to you guys last first thing is that I had my one year anniversary with my husband we got married about a year and almost two months ago so 14 months ago yay us we went to Myrtle Beach for 10 days took our pup right on the beach it was it was great it was great you know I ate I enjoyed it was fun then um more recently Maya turned one my puppy dog if you're not familiar with her um she just turned one on October 27th so we celebrated that I got her a huge dog cookie in Myrtle Beach fabulous and then I try to get a picture you know you do the best you can <laughs> and then I am actually in physical therapy right now I have been feeling some tension in my knees lately I I know I've talked about this on my Instagram I'm, I'm not sure if I've talked about it on here but I am in physical therapy basically my legs my quads hamstrings are really tight and so it's causing the muscle in my knees to kind of like tighten so it's been really difficult for me to do squats even walking up the stairs was really difficult but it is getting better so that's the good thing I actually ran for the first time today in months to say I was on the struggle bus on that treadmill y'all don't even know it was rough and then the last one which um I haven't really talked about on here too much I've probably made the video to talk about it more in depth like a million times but um I am just gonna kind of give it in a little bit of a snippet because I chose that this is a piece of my personal life and although I will kind of tell you guys what happened like not happened but update you on this I'm not really gonna talk about it too much in depth basically I met up with my brother and um, after not talking to him for past five years I uh, met up with my brother, I met my nephews, um, I met my sister-in-law, so um, I have three nephews and a niece. Um, two of them are my sister-in-laws from a previous marriage, as well as her daughter, and then the littlest one is 
my nephew by blood, if you will. I don't really pay attention to those things. Um, you know, if you're married into a family, you should be treated like family. So that's my view on that. But that is kind of the four top things, if you will, that have happened to me since I have done an update video. <laughs> so now I'm going to talk about what that my YouTube channel is going to be from this point forward. Will I do some beauty? Yes, probably because I love it. Love makeup. Actually got rid of a bunch of it because I just don't use as much anymore. Like this is kind of what I'm here for and that's about as good as it gets. I might throw on some eyeshadow if I get a little um wild and crazy. But otherwise this is it along with like eyeliner if I'm feeling like a little extra that day I might do that. So my channel is going to be about my project comeback. Um, for those of you that don't know, once upon a time on this channel, I was 172-ish pounds. Now I stand at a beautiful, gorgeous, sassy 234 to 36. Depends on the day. Depends on what I eat. You know how that goes. But that is what I'm sitting at right now. I've gained quite a bit of weight. Um, I gained about 20 pounds. No. I gained about 10 pounds when we moved in this house. So I was a 185 pounds-ish when I got married. We all know what happens after you get married, but that's not the thing for me. Um, it has been my hormones. I did the fuck it out diet for a little bit. I, yeah, it's just ever since I've gotten off birth control, it's been a, uh, yeah, it's been a journey. I'll be doing a video on that. Don't you people worry. If you want it, just double check and let me know. Comment down below. I will be, I've been taking notes. I've been doing all kinds of stuff. Trust me. The birth control video will be coming, okay? So, yes, Project Comeback. I'm going to be, you know, going through my journey of self-love, staying there, just being happy. How to get myself happy every day. And what better time to start then after the clocks go back yeah seasonal depression is a thing do i think that i have it intensely no but i am going to be making very large strides to help with me getting down because it gets so dark so quick be talking about that be talking about my fitness my food um how i feel about certain things my life so if you are here for that and you want to join me on that and um yeah then make sure you subscribe below hit the notification bell follow me on the sam journey on instagram yes i'm here for that but that is what the channel is going to be about so now we're going to talk about exactly how that's going to be and what i plan to do another update too kind of to throw in as a fifth i became a young living member essential oils they're amazing my diffuser just turned off. I don't hear it anymore. But it sits right there. And then I have two of my favorite oils, Bergamot and Peppermint, that are usually diffusing there if I'm in here or downstairs in um, my kitchen. Then I also have one in my bedroom. So there's that. So the project come back. Basically, it's my fighting my imbalances, my adrenal fatigue, my hormones, um, battling thyroid condition that I'm hoping I'm never going to get, but hey, you know, God only knows. So my plan that I'm going to do for the next 12 weeks is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm going to run, whether that's at the gym, primarily at the gym because I live in Maryland and it's freaking cold, so it's November, <laughs> um, but if I can't get to the gym because hello like I said I live in Maryland and you know I got to be loose with this over the next 12 weeks because hello snow. So if I can't make it to the gym for a run I'm going to do a HIIT workout at home. I have an entire list. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it um, but I'll share it in another video about all of like my go-to HIIT workouts. Pop Sugar Fitness is a lot of those workouts. It's great, it's free, Anna's amazing, so just check out Pop Sugar Fitness if you need like a good at-home quick workout. They're great. So Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, run 
Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, I plan to do um, Body Pump, which is a workout class at One Life Fitness. If you're a part of One Life Fitness and you've never looked into Body Pump, I highly recommend it. It's a full body workout with weights, with a barbell, with a bench. Whole nine. And it's an hour long. It's great. I love it. So, because I haven't been to the gym in a while, I want to continue with a full body workout. I don't want to isolate just yet so that's what I'm going to be doing that is the plan the plan is a loose plan I'm going to stick to it when I can but if things come up those things are out of my control so I'm also going to be walking my dog daily because poor thing she needs it bad dog mom on my behalf like we used to be so good and I fell off in the, went in the summertime because it was too hot. She's so fluffy. I can't be doing that to her. Like, she would sweat. Like, one time she looked at me and she was like, the hell are you doing? Like, it's hot. I can't be doing this shit, mom. Like, nah. I'm not here for this. It's 90 degrees outside. I'm black and I'm fluffy. So, yeah, I, I fell off this summer. Dearly. I fell off. Like, whew fell off so I'm trying to get back into that routine because my my dog not only do I need it but my my poor dog she needs it she is a border collie she is very hyper she chewed my entire windowsill and my wall I need to get her energy out anyways so I'm sure you guys are wondering okay you're doing this project come back I'm also counting my calories shout out to um miss jen lives on instagram my friend jen peter she's here on youtube as well make sure you check her out she actually just helped me kind of realign my macros i appreciate her so much for that um she does personal training with um anytime fitness so definitely reach out to her um if you are in like the maryland if you live like within the frederick area or montgomery county reach out to her or you can just check out her uh, Instagram so or her YouTube channel she gives all kinds of tips anyways so I'm sure you guys are wondering now that I'm doing this project come back like what about all of the other things that I've been trying ah, so good if you don't try this we can't be friends unless you're dairy intolerant then I get it this is gluten free by the way It's like the best dessert. We get a freaking whipped cream mustache every time. So what about Whole30, Weight Watchers, Fuck It Diet, all that stuff. Like what happened to it, what were my results from it, etc. So I tried all of them. And the bottom line is I didn't feel my best on each one. And I'm not just saying that that's not my own fault. Um, but I have my input on each. So let's talk about Whole30. Is it a great plan? Absolutely. It is very good at determining if you have any type of intolerance for something. It is not meant to be long term. I think that that's something that a lot of dietitians and a lot of people in the, um, that type of an industry get incorrect they think that whole 30 is supposed to be something that's long term whole 30 is good for people to figure out if they have something that they're eating in their current diet that they're intolerant to that maybe doesn't make them feel good let me reiterate something that might not make them feel good whole 30 is not meant to be a, a diet that you sustain forever it's not meant to be for weight loss it is simply to get you to make your body feel good now I did it this last time and I dropped off at day 21 I'll be completely honest I was something was going on with me that I physically could not do it I was trying I um sorry somebody just pulled in and I don't recognize their car <laughs> so I was trying really hard to do it and I just wanted to cry because I just wanted some rice and oatmeal and I couldn't have it so I said screw it I went into an reintroduction nothing really gives me an issue the only thing that I'm kind of sensitive to is dairy and I, I say that in a sense of too much of it will break me out too much of it will cause my stomach to hurt but like 
one of these or like a sprinkle of cheese or I had some pizza one day that I don't have that often, I was okay. It wasn't a big deal. So though that's like kind of why I like didn't stick to any of those. Um, Weight Watchers. So I'm going to kind of go into each one. So Whole30, like I said, like I just wanted to quit day 21. It was not for me. Weight Watchers, the plan that they have now, it actually is great. I will say that. Um, but I did it last week and seriously, God bless me and somebody help me if my husband watches this because he will come for me. My husband will come for me. So I started it last week. It was the week of my period. Probably not the best idea. However, in spite of that, I think, I don't know, like, the thing is, is it's, it's kind of hard because last week the, the clocks went back. Chuck and I didn't sleep a lot because we went to New York City to Madison Square Garden for the UFC fight. Um, and I got my period and I started a new diet. Like, probably was not the best week for me to start. However, I just was so tired and I was so irritable and I just felt like shit. Like I, I had headaches. Oh God, it was so bad. And so then at the end of the week, I gained, I, I gained weight and I was like, all right, that's it. Like, I'm sorry. I can't be sticking here in this. Like, I can't, no, I can't do it. So gave up on that. <laughs> so, and like, you guys are probably thinking like stick for something for a little bit, but if it doesn't make me feel good, I'm not going to stick with it. You feel me? You, do you feel me? So, fuck it diet. Kind of the same thing. Like, yeah, it was great that I was eating whatever the fuck I wanted. And I still kind of do. But the thing is, is that the things that I were eating were not making me feel good. So, if you want to say that I'm kind of on a fuck it diet still, I kind of am because I still kind of eat whatever I want. But I keep them within my macros, so it's kind of an if it fits my macros type thing. But at the same time, like, I'm loose with it. If I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. If I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. I'm not going to starve myself. So you know what I mean? Like, I'm not depriving myself, and I'm not restricting. And for my freaking mindset, like, God bless, that's what I need. Like, I can follow my macros. That's fine. But, yeah, the rest of it, I just can't be, I can't be fucking with it. That's just the truth. So I'm just looking and trying to figure out how I can feel good again and get my body back, not physically, but emotionally and mentally how I was over a year ago when I felt really good. If that's me being 185 pounds, cool. If that's me sticking at like 233, 236, whatever, cool. But I cannot be feeling the way that I'm feeling. I will say after my run today, I felt like a million bucks. Let's keep on that. So yeah, so working out, some people are like, don't force yourself to do it. Like, you know, do what feels good. Listen, honey, I get it. But for my fucking mental health, I got to do something. So I have, I'm going to force myself to do the things that I said I'm going to do every single day, like right now, I need to go take my my dog for a walk because I'm off work. <sighs> yeah, I really don't want to, but I'm going to. I'm going to force myself and this will be my routine for the next 12 weeks and I will stick to it to the best of my ability and hopefully it will start to make me feel better. But my ass needs a workout. I need those endorphins, okay? Can't be just saying, mm, my body don't feel like it. When really, I'm just being lazy. Let's be honest. <laughs> That's been me for the past few months. So, really, with that, the last thing to kind of update you guys is I need to stop doing things that don't make me feel good. That's food. I don't want to say exercise because right now I'm so out of shape. Nothing feels good. But I'm going to start doing things that make me feel good. So what my body is craving. And as much as I would like to say it's donuts and pizza and cake, like, that just doesn't make me feel good. Like, a giant salad. Like, the salad from Noodles and Company, their, um, 
chicken barracuda salad. Oh, I could eat that shit every day. It's got corn, um, avocado, tomato, chicken, and then it's got this spicy, creamy jalapeno dressing. It's amazing. I could eat that every day. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want to eat food that makes me feel good and that it 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 tastes delicious. I'm not trying to eat no like broccoli, chicken, brown rice every single day. You feel me? Yeah. So that is pretty much it. That is my update. That is what's going to be going on. How often I plan to upload, we shall see. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a, not a day in the life, because I mean, shit, I work for eight hours a day. But you know, maybe a what I eat in a day, kind of pop in, see what's going on. But yeah, if there's anything that you guys like wish to request on this journey, like I'm going to be talking about how I got my face to clear up. I'm going to be talking about my birth control and then you know as we get to where we need to go I'm going to be talking about what I'm doing differently to get there. Y'all ready for the ride? Cause shit I'm scared. Like let's be honest. So yes. This is where we're at. This is where we're going. And again, if you want to hop on for the ride, definitely hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell because your girl would appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.